the feature. From heaven, the Lord looks down and sees all mankind. Psalm 33, 13. He stole my heart the way a baseball player steals a base in the blink of an eye and before I even knew it was happening. I took in his angelic face, his infectious smile, and his boundless energy, and I was smitten. He was seven years old. As I watched his bat connect with the ball time and time again, I marveled at his timing and his aim. Not many children his age would have so masterfully conquered the skills of t-ball, especially if they could not see the ball. He was blind having lost his sight to disease at the age of four. But preschool memories of playing backyard ball remained vivid in his mind's eye, and he wanted to play again. A youth league coach put him on the team. In the beginning, the coach would tuck the child's tiny hand into his own and guide it to the place where the ball sat, helping him aim and then stepping away and letting him take the swing. When bat and ball connected, the coach would again grasp the child's hand and guide him as he ran around the bases toward home plate. As time went on, the tiny player no longer needed a guiding hand every time he stepped up to the plate. He even took his place in the outfield and was often heard calling out, hit it to me, hit it to me. This sweet boy's mother said to me, he doesn't think he is blind. Indeed, it seems to me that he had simply learned to see with his heart instead of his eyes. Today, when you are faced with a difficult situation or person, think of this amazing little boy. Resolve to put a smile on your face and shout out to life, hit it to me. Like the t-ball coach, God promises to take our hand and guide us around the obstacles in our way, making certain we move safely toward home. today's truth. Today, I will look for opportunities to see with my heart, and I will remember that when I am blinded by stress, disappointment, anger, and fatigue, God's eyes are still on me.